We have some more breaking news coming in from the national capital. We are given to understand that Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has finally broken his silence on Kapil Mishra's charges and rubbished his claim that Kejriwal had accepted two crore rupees from Satendra Jain. Iknur, my colleague, now joins us uh, for more on this. Uh, Iknur, finally, Arvind Kejriwal has broken his silence on this matter, on this big allegation, and he says that it is wrong. Well, yes, indeed. In fact, as per the information that we are getting uh, from our sources, also uh, there was a volunteer meet that uh, Arvind Kejriwal conducted today, and during that meeting, he addressed all the volunteers. And in fact, for the first time, actually spoke up regarding the allegations put on him uh, by Kapil Mishra. He clearly said that people have been asking me to come out and speak, but what is there to say? Because all of this is just lies that is being spread about me. All the allegations regarding the fact that I've taken two crore rupees and the fact that uh, Satendra Jain was involved in massive corruption is all incorrect, and these are lies that are being spread to put us down and we have to stand up against it. In fact, we've also heard that he mentioned the fact that the media is against us and we have to actually fight that and to fight for the people. And this is a message that he is in fact spreading amongst the volunteers, saying that we have to continue fighting and we have to continue serving the people. But all the allegations being made against me are completely incorrect. Yes. And this is for the first time that Arvind Kejwal has come out and spoken up on this matter. Iknur, interestingly, a man who says everything on Twitter, whatever he has to say, be it to the Election Commission of India, when the press conference was on, he responded immediately to them via Twitter. He has responded to these volunteers in the meeting. How significant is that? Does he realize that perhaps, you know, he's not able to keep his flock together? Well, clearly at this point of time, Aam Aadhi Party has hit a new low. This is the yes. first time that the Aam Aadhi Party has actually hit a diminishing volunteer base. So one of the Ignore, request you to just stay with us. Hold that thought. I'll just come back to you on that one in just a bit. We have Vijendra Gupta of the BJP now joining us on the phone line. Good evening, Mr. Vijendra Gupta. Thanks for speaking with us here on Times Now. Arvind Kejriwal finally breaking his silence on the allegations made by SAG Minister Kapil Mishra and rubbishing all the charges. How do you respond? मैं यही कहूंगा कि बहुत देर से उन्होंने रिएक्ट किया है और बहुत वीक विकेट पे रिएक्ट किया है उन्होंने जो कहा है ये स्पॉन्टेनियस उसी समय क्यों नहीं कहा इसका मतलब ये है कि कहीं ना कहीं इस पूरे मैटर में वो गिल्टी हैं और वो ये बात कहने के लिए उनको अगर 10 दिन लग गए तो इसका मतलब साफ है कि कुछ ना कुछ गड़बड़ हुई है और, और साथ में विजेंद्र गुप्ता जी मेरा सवाल अब ये है आपकी राय जानना चाहेंगे कि अभी भी अरविंद केजरीवाल जो हर चीज के बारे में ट्विटर पर आ जाते हैं सोशल मीडिया के जरिए अपने विचार रखते हैं दुनिया के सामने उन्होंने ट्विटर पर रिस्पॉन्ड नहीं किया है ना बाहर आके कोई बयान दिया है एक वॉल्टियर मीट में बोला है उसका उसका क्या आप समझते हैं कि अपने लोगों को वो साथ में रखने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं बचाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं इसलिए दुनिया के सामने आके नहीं बोल रहे देखिए बिल्कुल आपने ठीक कहा कि उस ट्विटर पे क्यों नहीं गई अगर ये हर चीज में ट्वीट करते हैं ये तो बहुत बड़ा इशू है अगर उन्होंने ये कहा कि मैंने ब्राइब नहीं ली है तो ये ट्विटर पे रिएक्ट क्यों नहीं किया दूसरा ये है की इतने दिन बाद क्यों किया और तीसरा ये है की इस पार्टी में तू तू मैम तो निश्चित रूप से है की इन्हीं के एक मिनिस्टर एक्स मिनिस्टर ने इन पे आरोप लगाया है और ये उसको आ, आ, उसको डिफेंड कर रहे हैं साथ में इनको लगता है कि धोखा दिया है उसने धोखा उसने दिया है इनको या इन्होंने उनको दिया है और सवाल एक एलिगेशन का नहीं है सवाल ये है कि एलिगेशन के बाद एलिगेशन आ रहे हैं सवाल ये है कि एलिगेशन के बाद और करप्शन पर आ रहे हैं आज का केजरीवाल जी से मैं चाहूंगा वो ये भी क्लियर करें कि जो टैंकर स्कैम है उसमें उन्होंने 11 महीने तक फाइल को क्यों दबाया अब वो तो कह रहे थे जीरो टॉलरेंस कर दूसरा मेरा क्वेश्चन है सत्येंद्र जैन के मामले में सत्येंद्र जैन ने हवाला से 200 बीघा जमीन खरीदी है 200 बीघा जमीन खरीदने के बाद उसमें अपने पोस्ट का मिसयूज किया एज ए मिनिस्टर उन्होंने उसको रेजिडेंशियल में कन्वर्ट कराने के लिए गवर्नमेंट का इस्तेमाल किया है आज तक सत्येंद्र जैन पर कोई कार्रवाई केजरीवाल जी क्यों नहीं करना चाहते क्योंकि केजरीवाल जी के जितने रिलेशन हैं ऑफ द रिकॉर्ड वो सत्येंद्र जैन के साथ है ये सिद्ध हो चुका है ये प्रूव हो चुका है और जो भी फाइनेंशियल मैटर है वो सत्येंद्र जैन और केजरीवाल जी के बीच में है
पर मिस्टर विजेंद्र गुप्ता दूसरी तरफ यू नो आम आदमी पार्टी ये भी कहती है कि कपिल मिश्रा बीजेपी की एजेंट हैं कपिल मिश्रा बीजेपी की भाषा बोल रहे हैं एक टाइम में जो कपिल मिश्रा हैं उन्हीं के यू नो उन्हीं के साथ मंत्री हुआ करते थे और आज वो केजरीवाल मुक्त दिल्ली की बात कर रहे हैं क्या बदल गया तीन से चार दिन के अंदर कि कपिल मिश्रा बिल्कुल ही दूसरी तरफ आ गए हैं और वो कह रहे हैं कि मैं कुछ लोगों को नहीं केजरीवाल मुक्त दिल्ली बनाना चाहता हूँ ये कहा से उनको इतनी पावर मिल रही है मैं तो इतना कहूंगा ये तो केजरीवाल जी बताए ये उन्होंने उसको एमएल उनको एमएलए बनाया उन्होंने उनको मिनिस्टर बनाया वो एक समय में उनके हेंचमैन थे क्योंकि मोदी जी के खिलाफ हमारे राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष अमित शाह जी के खिलाफ अगर सबसे बद्दी लैंग्वेज खराब लैंग्वेज किसी ने यूज की है हाउस के अंदर केजरीवाल के सबसे ज्यादा तालियां केजरीवाल साहब बजाते थे फ्लोर के ऊपर जब अभद्र भाषा का प्रयोग किया जाता था तब तो उन्होंने कभी नहीं कहा तब तो वो इनके आदमी थे आज चूंकि इनके खिलाफ वो मोर्चा खोला है उन्होंने आप मैं तो कहूंगा ना मुद्दों की बात करिए कौन किसका आदमी है किसका नहीं है वो छोड़िए आप आप बताइए जब आपने स्पेशल सेशन बुलाया अभी छह दिन पहले yes. आपने हुँ. मुझे क्यों नहीं वहां पर करप्शन पर इश्यूज रेज करने दिए जब पूरे माहौल में ये बात आ गई कि करप्शन पर जीरो टॉलरेंस की बात yes. कहने वाली पार्टी के चीफ मिनिस्टर अब करप्शन पर कुछ सुनना ही नहीं चाहते राइट right. आप तो कहते थे कि करप्शन पर कोई भी आएगा मैं उस पर एक्शन करूंगा yes. मैं ऑफ अपोजिशन हूँ आपने मुझे right. मार्शल आउट कराया Yes, Mr. Vijayendra Gupta, appreciate your point. Thank you very much for speaking with us here on Times. Now, let me now go back to my colleague Ignu, who has got us this information that finally Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has broken his silence on the graft charges that were levelled against him by his own sacked minister Kapil Mishra. Now, Ignu, as you were as we were talking about the point that you know why has he not come out on Twitter or social media or out in the public? Why has he only made this statement to his you know some volunteers? Well, clearly, the volunteer base of the Aam Aadmi Party has been diminishing for a very long time, and one of the mo most important uh, criteria for the Aam Aadmi Party has been to focus on that on that volunteer base, and which is why very clearly, Arvind Kejriwal is now directly speaking to his volunteers. He's not come out in the open. He's not made public statements because his image publicly, per se, is not been very good for the last uh, uh, several weeks. And this time around, he is directly uh, hitting the nail on the head. He's Speaking to volunteers one on one, this is something that Arvind Kejriwal is trying to do in a last, uh, last attempt to try and keep his block together. Clearly, but the point is that this is the first time that Arvind Kejriwal has come out in such a manner and spoken up on the issue. He has said for the first time from his, from his own mouth that. I am not involved in these cases. These are all lies that are being said about me. The media is against us. So clearly, this is a message he's sending out that do not believe what is being put out in the media. All of this is just a propaganda against me. I am completely clean, and together we have to all work towards uh, helping the people. And that is the message he's trying to spend, uh, send out with the volunteers. But this is what sources have told us that he's spoken to the volunteers in this manner. He told the volunteers now that all MLAs will be meeting. MLAs and in fact uh, workers of the Aam Aadmi Party will be meeting with people without appointment on Saturdays and Sundays. This means that the entire culture of Jan Sabha, something that the Aam Aadmi Party had initially started and then they stopped doing it. The entire culture of Jan Sabha is going to come back. They are now again going to start speaking to people. All of this clearly shows that the Aam Aadmi Party is racked. In a way, they are scared that they're losing that support of the people, and this is an attempt to get all of them back on board. Back to you. Perhaps that is the case uh, that uh, Arvind Kejriwal is now realizing that uh, people of his party are losing faith in him after uh, some allegations were made by his own sagged mantri Kapil Mishra. We'll continue to track this story on Times Now. Thanks, Iknur, for joining us and getting us those updates.